What's up everybody, it's Aaron Duncan here with the Necessary Blunt and Sports Talk. Back again with another video. You guys already know I start every video by saying, what up though? I'm not going to get into all that jargon. You already know what I do. I made Panthers videos, so make sure you hit the subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up, but I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Um, This is not a Cam Newton bash video. You know, I got a Cam jersey on. I like Cam. I believe in Cam. What I saw tonight was not Cam Newton. But before I get into talking about Cam... Let's talk about all the external factors. First of all, I don't know what was going on. There was a storm in Charlotte. If you're from Charlotte, what was going on? It seemed like when we saw the radar after the rain delay, like I had a weird feeling about this game once I heard it was going to be a rain delay. Like out of nowhere, I saw them during warm-ups. It was pouring down raining. And I was like, what the heck is going on? There was a dot of a storm right above Charlotte and Make of America Stadium. Like, what is the – it was a great cloud. Like that was the, that was the telltale. There was a gray cloud above the stadium before in warm ups. It stopped for a little bit, came back, and that should have told you everything. There was a gray cloud. It was a rainy day for the Panthers. That told me all I needed to see. And I don't know a rain delay. It got home so late from this game. It pissed me off. People had work. The game was already going to end at eleven thirty. It didn't end to like twelve fifteen, and that just blew me off. The weather. I don't know what happened. Mother Nature. Like what was going on. That's the first thing. Second, the referees. Refs, come on, y'all. The Panthers, we played bad enough tonight. Like, we literally do not need any help digging our grave. They dug our grave for us. Whether it was only two camera angles, the sky angle and the floating little, I don't even know what those angles are called. Press box? It's a, it's a Madden or NBA 2K press box view. That was the worst thing ever. Let, not to mention, once again, the first drive, of the game set the tone. Last week, it was DJ Moore fumbling on the first drive after we moved the ball. This week, we moved the ball. Cam Newton gets stopped on the fourth down and short when it looked clear to me that he got it. But since they didn't have the side view because the cameras were out, which magically came back in the third quarter, they couldn't give it to us. And it was just like, what can we do now? We haven't scored a touchdown all season. So it's like everything in the world is against us. The refs. Even the calls we got in favor of the refs in that last spot was terrible. The the pass interference slash illegal contact that was blatant they didn't call. The obvious face mask that they took 10 minutes to freaking review. Like, there was already a rain delay, guys. We don't need the game to go any longer. I'm not, they, they need to get rid of Thursday games that they're going to go to 1 a.m. in the morning. Like, this one almost did. And it just really pissed me off. But like I said, I can't even blame the refs 100% because we didn't need any help burying ourselves. But they just they just threw the dirt on the grave too. We dug the hole. They filled the dirt in after we got in that thing. But for the Panthers, <sighs> offensively, the lack of execution in the red zone sucks. The play calling, the throws, the blocking, bad running. Uh, it, it it just the bad route running. It just sucked. Everything sucked. And it starts with Cam Newton, man. So I'm not gonna speculate on injury. That'd be irresponsible of me. And being a media person that I am, uh, it would be irresponsible for me to speculate, especially if he hasn't sold anything. Cam News, Cam's not on the injury report. Um, he didn't tell anybody anything. He didn't say it in a press conference. He said it was okay. Granted, we clearly saw him wincing a little bit once he ran out of bounds on the sideline a little bit, was hopping on it. I don't know if the rain delay got his foot. He got warmed up, got a shot, but the rain delay kind of stiffened him up. I don't know what was going on with Cam. It just seemed like he was almost checked out. And mentally, he just wasn't in it. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't I don't want to speculate on injury, but I just said his head, it, it pretty much seemed like his, he psyched himself out. And it seemed like the media got in his head. The fact that he was some deep balls, he was just forcing him to, he was just throwing them to throw him. Yeah, he connected on one and, or a couple, hitting Greg and hitting uh, Curtis. But, like, it felt like the media just got in his head and he tried to force it. And some of them were way off. Like, bro, play your game, dog. The deep balls will come when they come, and they came. But play your game. Don't force it. Don't let anybody dictate how you play. Play your game. Execute the offense. Stay within yourself. Um, the inconsistency. I know I've told y'all before. Cam Newton is never going to be a precise passer like Drew Brees or Tom Brady, whether he changes the mechanics or not. I honestly think him changes the mechanics hurt. So now he's overthinking. He's thinking about throwing rather than just reading the defense and letting it fly. And that's my that's my only explanation because the inconsistency inconsistency was on a whole other level. We know Cam is not the most accurate quarterback, but tonight was just on a whole nother level. His shoulder's not hurt, man. 
I don't care what y'all saying. His shoulder's not hurt. He's making the throws. It's just they're not accurate. I don't know if it's because his foot is hurt still and he can't step into the throws. Like I said, I can't speculate. But something that's off with him, this is not Cam the Cam Newton that I know. This is not the Cam Newton that I support. This is not the Cam Newton that I love. I'm not going to jump ship until I figure out what's going on with this guy because it's still early in the season. Obviously, Ron Rivera and him are tied at the hip. They came into the league together uh, with their first gig. And I think Ron Rivera is going to ride the ship with him. I thought it would be a little bit more with the uh, the, the, the the fourth and whatever, fourth and inches. I thought he would really ride Cam until the sunset, but he didn't. He went with McCaffrey. Um, so that really puzzled me because the play calling and play selection was terrible. I know Christian McCaffrey started off hot, then he got shut down or whatever, but we completely went away from Christian in the third quarter. The third quarter was just terrible. You know what I'm saying? Shaq Barrett exposed our, our left, Darrell Williams, our left tackle, three sacks in one quarter. Two of them, I think two were in the same series. You know what I'm saying? Like, it really sucked. Cam started feeling the pressure, and then he was just all over the place at that point. His numbers, 25 of 51. Everybody knows 51 passes is a recipe for disaster if you come to Cam Newton. You need to have Cam Newton between 30 and 35 passes a game. If we're throwing the ball 51 times, especially in a condition that he looked like tonight, that's a recipe for disaster. That's completely blamed on play calling. We know Cam, that's not Cam's game. So I can't blame Cam 100% for being forced to do something that he's not. That's not Cam. He can run. He's a quarterback that's a dual threat quarterback. They didn't call They called one or two design runs. Cam Newton had negative two rushing yards. That was a career low. This year, today, he had zero. These are back-to-back -back career lows in rushing. Why don't they call rushing plays for Cam? I don't know. He said he's okay. He, him, people want to give him flat about the press conference he had at the Super Bowl, but the press conference he had today, taking all the blame, not blaming the play calling, saying, yeah, he wanted the ball on the fourth and short, but he's not going to point the finger at anybody except himself. And it starts with him, like he should. He took the blame. He did with quarterback, but y'all not going to give him credit for that. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. But the play calling really had me puzzled. Like I said, you got to mix him up, get his legs involved. Cam Newton without his legs is not Cam Newton. If you're not going to call running plays for Cam Newton, that's not Cam Newton. He's really Mitch Trubisky, if that's the case. You know what I'm saying? Like, And that's not a guy that's going to be able to lead this team to the promised land like we saw last week. So it just sucks because like our defense – Held them to less than 300 yards. Yeah, it seemed worse than it was at certain times because there was a big, any, the, the plays that they did get, they popped us for big plays. Mike Evans over the top. Char Godwin, Chris Godwin had 122. That was, that was almost 75% of Jameis passing yards. You know what I'm saying? Chris Godwin is a quality receiver, but Dante, I don't know what's going on with Dante. Like, he's been getting cooked the past two weeks. I don't know what's been going on. You know what I'm saying? Bradbury, Got beat one time, but the secondary overall played. They did what they were supposed to do. They did their job. Luke Kuechly played out of his mind. 17 tackles. Shaq Thompson had eight tackles, but Luke Kuechly was literally putting his heart and soul on the line. He scored two more points than anybody on our offense. Him and Joey Sly were the MVP. Joey Sly, he he had me nervous a couple times, but he made he made the kicks. You know what I'm saying? But like my only real legitimate gripe against the defense was Luke Kuechly dropping that pick. He literally did everything except catch that pick. And, of course, Gerald McCoy getting the necessary roughness, which was just him being in his own head against his former team. I don't know why, but they extended the drive. They missed that field goal on that drive. However, we could have stopped the drive there. That would have been more momentum, better field position. Field position last week was a problem. We lost that battle with the Rams. This week, we had quality field position multiple times thanks to our defense. We couldn't do anything. We we didn't pick Jameis off. Jameis looked more like Cam Newton than Cam did. Um, Cam looked more like Jameis. It was crazy how things happened. This is the NFL. Peyton Barber got it going. He popped a couple. The running game wasn't that effective if you look at the numbers, but they got it done when they needed to. They churned off clock when they needed to. Third down, they were only two for 12. Our defense went in on them. Um, they had 100, 100 yards rushing on three, 31 attempts. That's, that's three yards per carry. Like, what else do you want them to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, the defense, they did all they could. And I just, I feel bad because Ron Rivera's defensive coach, he did his job. It was just the guy he hired, North Turner, who didn't do his job. But Ron Rivera's the head coach, 
So he's going to be held accountable. So this will definitely, I know David Tepper does not like being embarrassed. First of all, he's probably already pissed that we don't have a dome in a closed stadium because of the rain, obviously. And two, being embarrassed on national TV again, like we did last year against the Steelers, does not bode well. Ron Rivera's seat is getting very hot, especially after the way the game ended because it's obvious that we could have, should have went quarterback sneak. So I'm, I'm done rambling. I'll probably drop some more detailed videos about what happened. But you guys let me know down below in the comments how you felt about the game. Most of y'all are Cam Newton haters, so y'all probably want to get rid of him. Will Greer is not the answer. I don't know if the answer at quarterback is on the roster besides Cam, so that's why we're going to have to ride with Cam, try to get stuff right. There's still a lot of football left. But like I said, I know it doesn't look promising. Y'all know y'all don't want to hear that. But I'm not – I've got to keep up alive. There's still 15 weeks left. I, we can't suffer this bad for 15 straight weeks. I won't be able to take it. I, I, it's not good for my health. So you guys let me know down below in the comments how you feel. Um, I'm done rambling. I'll probably – like I said, I'll drop some more videos. I'm out of here, man. I'll see you next time. Peace.